Uh, I want to get on to Vancouver here, um, and I want to ask your thoughts on on Rick Tockett and this version of the Vancouver Canucks and JT Miller front and center yesterday. They beat the Anaheim Ducks 3-2. Uh, Miller with the overtime winner. Uh, uh, he fired that thing. <laughs> like, there's there's no other way that just like oh, yeah. JT Miller got all of that puck. Kuzmenko scores again. He's now got 30, 30 goals. Eight, now that he has an interpreter. I know, like Kuzmenko with 30, he's a great interview. He's trading sticks for bananas with kids and doing great, you know, great interviews afterward, like with the, with his with his newfound translator, but um, uh, Kratzoff there. Your thoughts on what we're seeing from the Vancouver Canucks and Thatcher Demko real good uh, mm-hmm. again. Uh, your thoughts on what we're seeing with this Rick Tockett-led Vancouver Canucks squad? Well, I think you can start to see the change in, in attitude. There's There's no question about that. And I know that there's, you know, there's people like these wins are not good. Like just fold the tents and go for Bedard. Um, but you know, you, you, you have to teach, you have to teach attitude. Right. And uh, like, um, you know, I, I, I think we all wondered what would happen after the coaching change in Vancouver. Um, you know, the, the, the players there clearly liked Boudreaux as a person. Uh, the story he told about they gave him the WWE belt on, on his last game as a coach so he could have yeah. it when he left. Um, you always wonder, yeah. okay, you know, what happens when uh, a, a popular guy is out, especially under the circumstances that it happened? And I think we're starting to get our answer here. I, you know, the thing for me is that I always believe that the best of the best at anything, they, they want to get better. They want somebody in charge who's going to be committed to making them better that they think has a lucid plan and and they know where they're going. And, you know, the one thing for me, it's pretty clear here that Tockett, um, you know, he's, he's a pretty simple guy to play for. I think he says, he's, he's like, I want you to play hard. I want you to compete and we'll work from there. And uh, I think that, you know, the, the Canucks players are clearly like the message. Like, you know, there's still a lot of, you know, I, I was talking, I was talking to somebody after the deadline was over and they're like, I think the players there feel the only negative thing about the deadline is over is that they still know that this could be like some, some, some wild stuff could happen in the summer. Like they'll see where this goes, but Mm. I think they're enjoying not having to think about it and just playing. And uh, you know, they, they've played hard under talk. There's, there's no question about that. Whatever he's telling them, it's, it's clearly it's resonating with them.